Hey YouTube, just thought I would uh, give you guys a quick update. Some changes I got going on with my helmet. Uh, I've made quite a few over the last uh, couple of uh, days and weeks. And I thought I'd uh, get into it for you. Um, obviously this is a lot different than uh, my last video. So let's, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, first thing I did is, uh, change out my IR reflective patch, uh, the American flag on this side. I went with a coyote brown. I also like this, uh, texture a little bit better. I don't know, it, it seems a little bit, uh, to me it's a little bit, uh, I just like it better, uh, um, than the old one I had. Um, but the big thing, biggest change I made was, uh, I now have the TNVC Mohawk MK1. That is the the new uh, TNVC counterweight, um, and I also have a um, Core Survival Hellstar Six on here. So, um, and that's this right here. So this is the Mohawk one. Um, I love it. It's a very uh, good uh, counterweight. Uh, it, it's balanced great. Uh, I think it looks good too. It looks much better than just the standard uh, black one. Uh, in in these pockets, I have storage for batteries, um, and uh, also that's where the counterweights are. Also in there, um, very well balanced. Uh, I have it tethered on actually to the helmet by um, the, the little clips, the little cords that uh, that Team Wendy gives you. Um, so if, you know, if this thing isn't going anywhere anyway, it's not coming off, it's Velcroed on, but um, I also have, uh, you know, the ability to, it's tethered on. But inside here I have extra batteries in one slot. Actually, we'll, we'll open it up and look. We'll, as you can see, it's hard to... So one tab is batteries. Um, and then you can see the counterweights in the second tab in there. Um, and I love this thing. It's, uh, I think it looks great. And it's very functional. Um, I, on my old setup, I had the batteries just bungeed. You know, one battery just bungeed on the back. So now I got three spare batteries for my PDS-14. Which is awesome. Um, on the other side, um, no changes. Still have the Don't Tread on Me Gadsden flag. Gotta have it. This is the old style patch. I had the uh, the old. This is the anytime sign. Uh, totally reflective. Uh, I love. I do love that patch. Um, I just something about the uh, this style American flag that I really like. And then obviously, right here, this is the uh, Core Survival. Um, it's a green light, or it can be a uh, white strobe, okay? Um, and then if I flip this toggle switch up here, it goes to IR, low and, and uh, high. The IR will blink. Um, and then and low, and then a little blink and high. So when you saw that that white strobe on the um, the IR will will blink like that. Um, I, so there's been an there was an incident where a, a guy was shot. He was hog hunting, and a woman shot him. Um, and my biggest thing is uh, just increasing my IR signature to the highest level that I can. So, I'm out there, I'm, you know, you're in somebody's fields, um, you know, you're, for me, I'm gonna be guided because I don't live down south, so any hunt I go on is gonna be a guided hunt, but I want everybody out there to see, be able to see, hey man, that's not a hog out there, that's a guy with a helmet and, you know, his light 
I, I can see his strobe. So, no, you know, now if the people are going with thermal only, that's going to be an issue for me. I can't, you know, I have no, no way to defend against people not identifying their target. But uh, that's why I went with that. Uh, but this has been, this has been awesome. Um, great battery life on that thing, too. Uh, I gave it to my, uh, my little nephew stayed with us on the first night. And he, he wanted a, uh, a nightlight. I don't know, you know, children are grown. I, don't know, I didn't have a nightlight. So I turned on that green and gave it to him. Well. Eight hours later, I came back. He was it was still working. So uh, battery life's great. I haven't changed the battery in that. Obviously, in he, right here, the nine eleven oh one patch. Um, gotta have that. Um, I have this one right here as well, um, which has the thin red line. I'm thinking about switching that out. I can. I can go back and forth, whatever I choose. I just went with this one for now because of the the green matches, the, you know, the theme a little bit better. Um, I am a career firefighter, so I do like the thin red line one um, better. Um, but really, I'm getting to the to the uh, to the end of my setup in terms of. I don't know how much more I can do to this thing. Uh, I'm probably going to change out the Peltors for a set of MSA Swordens. Uh, the Peltors are great. I like them. The only issue I have is that this thing, these... Uh, it's hard to see. These tabs right here are like plastic. They break off. This is the Tactical Sport 100, so it's it's not a, you know, these aren't high-end Peltors. They're the entry-level ones. Um, but those will break off pretty easily. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is switching out this WML for a, putting my dual-spectrum Surefire, I believe it's an X300. Uh, it's an IR slash white light. Um, I'm thinking about putting that on the helmet and taking this off and getting just a white light only for my, uh, the Surefire white light only for my uh, weapon. And that would be because I, I don't see myself switching from IR to visible white light on the weapon. Um, but on the helmet you know yeah if, if you switch to IR and then you angle it down that to me is like a poor man's um, uh, what's that new laser that's out there uh, again I can't think of it uh, the uh, mall mall the BE Myers mall so the BE Myers mall is a super cool laser uh, and, and uh, IR illuminator but one of the things it does is it floods the room. Well, I've been playing with my with my IR, and when I use the light on IR and I angle it down like that, it, it, it gives me a great um, IR signature in dark rooms. But it doesn't it doesn't have that red glow that's pointing right at somebody. Obviously, they're gonna see me. But if you're searching a room or a cave or caving or anything and you, you know you have a lot a ton of nice IR light to aid the PBS 14 and this thing does have onboard IR as well um, it just gives you a lot of extra light um, I just feel that the IR is more useful on the helmet than it is actually on the weapon um, because I have an IR illuminator on my weapon um, Anyway, that's it, YouTube. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, these are the changes. Again, uh, it's the TNVC Mohawk MK1 and the uh, Horror Survival Hellstar 6. 
So and also uh, never forget 9/11. Um, my patches. Let me know what you think. Peace.